Who dare interrupts the great and powerful Bugsy from working on Old Stuck? Oh, it's you, Neil. Yep. Well, any, well <laughs> Neil, I've seen your comment, and I give you... I mean, I I take issue with this here. I get... Show us a link in the video just in case. Oh, well, link in the video. Oh, the video you're making right now. Oh, I'm gonna give him a link at the end of this. I'm gonna give him All a right. link at the end of this, Nick. I want him to know. Good boy. But um, you know, but you know, um, you know, Neil. I just feel like you think you think that this writer hates funny. I feel like they don't. They the these these writers have been treating these characters with a lot of respect. I mean, I get it. I get it. You probably think that they're going to flint it up. And, you know, going in, I thought the same thing. But, you know, I think this is going to... I think this is literally going to... I want logical reasons for the story to have in... Okay, let Okay, Neil. I think... I mean... Have you ever thought that your that you and Crystal Maiden, your logical reasons are not the same logical reasons that they're following? Like one's logic in a story can be different from the way you see it. Because we got writers going through, you know, doing these things from a different angle because they don't want it to be too much like Ian Flynn's writing. They're doing it from their diff from their own angles. And really, man, I understand you want to talk about Ian Flynn, but this has nothing to do with him anymore. Like, Lord, I mean, heaven help me, I don't want this. I don't want Ian Flynn to know anything about these stories. Because all that man's gonna do is be like, Ree! and then just gonna, that is gonna be horrible for a lot of people. But I feel like this is gonna, this is gonna make Bunny. Bunny wasn't a deep character like Sally. Okay. Okay. I know you keep bringing up all these other stuff, but I'm just saying they're trying to do it in their own... They're trying to do it with their own... They're trying to do it in their own way, Neil. Yeah, so it's not like they're just copying off of Neil and going... I mean, copying off of Ian Flynn and going, Oh, oh God, yes. Yes, Ian Flynn's a mastermind. No, they're just doing it their way. Because I bet you Ian Flynn had a whole more horrible way this could have ended. And like, Neil, you and I both know Ian Flynn had a horrible way for Buddy to get these, get this. And it would have probably been her, like, straight up becoming evil. But the, the way I look at this comic, the way I look at this issue is that Bunny has no choice. He said she wanted to be legionized, and that's the shit that comes with it. Like, and I knew that this would happen when Flynn was still writing it, because, like, and, again, I don't know, maybe Bunny's parents, because we don't really know much about Bunny's parents, do we? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, because, you know, it has been a very long time, so I've forgotten most most of the knowledge of various characters' families. So let me just tell. You, so let me just say this. I don't know if Bunny's parents were patriots, and or it was just something that they added. But you know, it kind of makes sense because let's be real. The the Acorn Rail family ain't really the best people in the world. I mean, remember they forced Sally to freaking. They forced Sally to marry Antoine, who was basically anti who was basically anti Antoine, and literally denied Sonic because well Sonic is just like Sonic is the same caliber as like Antoine when we all know Sonic took a fucking hit for the whole whole of Mobius. I mean, let's be real. The Acorns haven't been really, not, you know, really awesome and upright people. 
you know? Like, the fact that King Max literally, but, you know, the fact that King Max just went all sorts of, um, all sorts of unhinged on Sonic, when, when Sonic really wanted to be with him and not Antoine, like, Sonic really wanted to be with him. It was just kind of a, it was kind of a messed up thing. I don't know what the, I don't know what they technically, I don't know what Buddy's parents actually did, and I bet you we're probably gonna get, we're probably gonna get some sort of clarification. But for right now, Bunny's elite Bunny's legionized, taken by taken by Jack and his merry band of ass bandits. Yeah. So Ass breakers more like it. Yeah, they are. Yeah, that too. But until until we get another issue, that that's Bunny's fate right now. And you know, it just makes me feel like how I used to feel when I used to read the comics. When Ian wasn't going completely fucking nuts. Mm -hmm. Like, you could say, like, he was going nuts, but, like, when he first started out, he wasn't doing too much, and then he just went, he just went, Eww. because he had, like, he had, I think he had more control than he let on. It's just like he had control with, it's just how he has control with IDW, but now he has more control, but that's a different story. Do, but yeah, I don't know why you're bringing up all the other like other things because we're just talking about Bunny here. I mean, I know you're trying to bring up all these other, you know, all these other issues, but I'm just really focusing on Bunny here. How I think it's actually a good story rather than like what Flynn was gonna do because I, if I remember correctly, Flynn was gonna freaking Flynn was going to literally make Bunny evil. Oh God! If I remember correctly, because I remember a little blurb saying that he was going to do that. I right, I could be wrong, but I remember I remember that's one of the things he said he was going to do. And you know, and let's be real. I let's because I I'll be honest. I've talked to the Archie. I've talked to a few of the Archie um, Sonic Archie Sonic. Online people and they just they just dudes trying to make stories, trying to trying to fix Ian Flynn's various mistakes and trying to fill up the holes. And I get you and Chris will make me feel a certain kind of way, and I'm not trying to tell you guys not to feel the same way that I do because honestly, I can understand your I can understand your apprehension, both of you. But me, I, you know what I always say. Watch a story, read a storyline to the end, and then, then make your criticisms known. But hey, you don't have to do that. You don't have to be like me. But I've been reading comics for since I was a kid, and honestly, the best way to really know where this is gonna go is just read the read the storyline to the end and see what happens. It might be good. It might be bad. I might be eating my words, I might not. We don't know. But I say Neil, I say to you Neil, and I say to your, I say to the pe person you really like, Crystal Maiden, let's see how the storyline shakes out, my friend, and let's see how the storyline shakes out and see where it goes. I don't know why you started talking about Camp Anders either, like, dude, I, like, I'm not trying to be that guy. But I'm just like... I'm just like, man, we're focusing on Bunny here. And I don't think... I think these writers just... These writers just wanted a chance to write something that they loved. I mean, Neil, me being a writer, I kind of understand that, you know? Because, um, you know, I'm going to be... I'm going to be, help, I'm gonna be helping uh, Beware with a lot of other writers... On the doctor, on a new version of Doctor Who, so you know, so I got a few stories I want to do, and uh, you know, I understand that. So being so being a part of this like project, you know, means something. 
I don't think none of these. I, I mean, I get it. You think bad things are happening in the bunny, but that automatically assumes that this writer hates bunny. I don't think that's what it is, dude. We need conflict in these stories. We can't just have the characters go. We can't just have the characters frolic around in La La Land. We need exactly. conflict. Trust me, Ian was far worse. What Bunny gets in here is light. And probably we're gonna see Bunny do a cool ass thing at the end of the at the end of the storyline. But until then we just gotta wait and see and see what goes on. You know, you and Crystal Maiden and I might might not do that, but dude. But dude, let me tell you this. I ain't no newbie. I ain't no newbie reviewing these comics. I'm a guy who's literally read all the RG comics frontwards and backwards, and sometimes I do miss a few key points. But I know it depends on how this storyline is really gonna go. If you're gonna, if you guys are gonna be, if you guys think it's gonna be bad, I understand. I understand. I understand your apprehension. But me, how? Oh. Neil, if you know anything about me, I'm the dude that's like, okay, let me give this a benefit of the doubt, and I'll hold my full judgment when the storyline is over. Because no one does that. It's just like always. Now, mm -hmm. now that's different. Like the only, the only real, um, okay, the only real, like, exceptions to that rule. Are the IDW comics because those are bad. Those are horrible. Like Ian Flynn and the rest of his team should be ashamed of what they're doing. I am not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but these fans that I've talked to and seen and these fans that I've talked these fans who are writing this that I've talked to, they just want to they just want to do right by the fans. I don't put them on this high pedestal that you know a lot of people put in Flint on because they're just trying to they're just trying to make quality work here. And trust me now. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be a dick and I think I think I've saw your video response. Did you make another one? Let me go check. Ah oh, yeah, this is the old one. Hello everybody, it's that it's that time again where I got onto tomorrow and bow and myself to once again venture And you know I merged this with my storylines basically. <laughs> There's actually a funny thing with Bugsy Prime and Bunny that I you know, I may not tell that story, but like Legit, I'm just setting the seeds for it. <laughs> that's the thing about that's the thing about my that's the thing about Bugsy Crime. I just made him so versatile. But that's a different story and, and enough of me patting myself on the back. But I did see your I did see your I did see your video response. It's just I couldn't reply to it because I was working on I was working on alt stuck at the time. And that took a lot of that took a lot of me remembering how Roxy talked, how how Ch how Pester Chum works, a whole bunch of things. See, I'm a writer, and I forget certain. I I'm a fanfic writer, right? And I forget certain things about certain characters. But let me just tell you something. I don't think these writers have the same kind of drive that Ian that Ian Flynn did. Because if they, if they did, they would have just killed these characters outright. But Neil, I see it as the last safe haven for these characters. Even if you don't. Just because bad shit has happened. Just because bad shit in the comic has happened. We need conflict, my friend. Bunny left. She could have easily changed her mind. But they're just say, they're just taking what they're doing that Ian Flynn was doing and trying to make it a little bit better. They want to 
you know, it's one of the loose ends that Ian Flynn didn't fix. And once those are over, they're going to do their own thing. And I can't wait for that to happen. But for right now, they're just trying to finish all this up so they, they can do some original shit. Kind of a cleaning of the old guard, if you will. But I'm I'm done, Neil. And Nitwit, you got anything to say? Uh, not much. Sorry. <laughs> well, my well, my friend had nothing to say to that, but. I, you know, I'm usually the dude that drones on and on and on. Yeah. But, basically, my friend, I wish you the best of luck. There are a little bit of holes in your argument, but, you know, it's Song's birthday. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fully get over the coals for it. So, yeah, see you later, Neil, and just, you know, man, let's see, you know, see how this storyline shakes out, and then make your opinion. Because right now, it's looking pretty good. It's, it's, it's exciting. It's interesting. Again, I don't really know much about Bunny's parents, and I don't think they, they're mentioned all that much. Because I remember, because I remember I was trying to do a, like, um thing for my Archie Refresher Course series on my on my YouTube channel. And I don't remember Bunny's parents actually being referenced all that much. I know that they were in the I mean what I do know is that they did something. They were in the Great War and that's all I really remember, but I probably need to I probably need to freshen up on a few things. You know? Again, there's a lot of things there's a lot of things that I don't know, so I do look it up. Peace.